In the world of fitness and bodybuilding, two supplements stand out, creatine and whey protein. These two have become staples in the fitness community, often seen as essential tools for anyone serious about their training regimen. But what exactly makes them so special? They have gained immense popularity for their muscle building and performance enhancing benefits. Creatine for instance is known for its ability to increase strength and power during high intensity workouts. On the other hand, whey protein is celebrated for its role in muscle recovery and growth. While myths and misconceptions surround these supplements, scientific evidence supports their effectiveness when used responsibly. Numerous studies have shown that creatine can enhance athletic performance by increasing the availability of ATP, the energy currency of cells. Similarly, whey protein provides a rich source of essential amino acids, which are the building blocks of muscle tissue. Whether you're an athlete, a fitness enthusiast, or simply looking to improve your overall health, understanding how creatine and whey protein work can empower you to make informed decisions about your fitness journey. These supplements are not just for the elite. They can be beneficial for anyone looking to enhance their physical performance and overall well-being. Many people believe that these supplements are only for elite athletes or bodybuilders. This misconception often prevents everyday fitness enthusiasts from reaping the benefits that creatine and whey protein can offer. This is simply not true. Creatine and whey protein can benefit anyone looking to improve their fitness level, increase muscle mass, or enhance athletic performance. Whether you're lifting weights, running, or engaging in any form of physical activity, these supplements can provide the extra edge you need. Creatine and whey protein can benefit anyone looking to improve their fitness level, increase muscle mass, or enhance athletic performance. They are versatile and can be tailored to fit various fitness goals from bulking up to improving endurance. They are safe, effective, and can be easily incorporated into a healthy lifestyle. For instance, creatine can be taken as a pre-workout supplement to boost energy levels, while whey protein can be consumed post-workout to aid in muscle recovery. This essay will delve into the science behind these supplements. We will explore the biochemical pathways through which creatine and whey protein exert their effects, and how they can be optimized for maximum benefit. We will explore their effects on muscle growth, performance, and overall health. Understanding these mechanisms can help you make more informed choices about your supplementation strategy. We will also address potential side effects and how to mitigate them. While these supplements are generally safe, it's important to use them correctly to avoid any adverse effects. Consulting with a healthcare provider can provide personalized advice tailored to your specific needs. Get ready to unlock the potential of creatine and whey protein. With the right knowledge and approach, these supplements can be powerful allies in your fitness journey, helping you achieve your goals more efficiently and effectively. Protein is essential for life. It's made up of building blocks called amino acids. These amino acids are linked together in chains, forming the proteins that make up our muscles, bones, skin, hair, and every other cell and tissue in our bodies. When we consume protein, our digestive system breaks it down into these individual amino acids. These amino acids are then absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to different parts of the body. They are used to repair and build new tissues, produce enzymes and hormones, and support a wide range of bodily functions. Without enough protein, our bodies simply cannot function properly. There are 20 different amino acids and 9 of these are considered essential because our bodies cannot produce them. We must obtain them from our diet. The remaining amino acids are considered non-essential because our bodies can synthesize them from other amino acids. Protein metabolism is the process by which our bodies break down and utilize protein from the food we eat. This intricate process is essential for maintaining our body's overall health and functionality. Proteins are vital macromolecules that play a crucial role in building and repairing tissues, producing enzymes and hormones, and supporting immune function. This process begins in the stomach, where enzymes start to break down protein into smaller chains of amino acids called peptides. The stomach's acidic environment and the enzyme pepsin work together to initiate this breakdown, making it easier for the body to absorb and utilize these nutrients. These peptides then travel to the small intestine, where they are further broken down into individual amino acids. The small intestine is a critical site for nutrient absorption, and various enzymes including trypsin and chymotrypsin play a significant role in this process. 
These amino acids are absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to the liver. The liver is a vital organ that processes these amino acids, ensuring they are available for various bodily functions. The liver acts as a control center, regulating the distribution of amino acids to different tissues and organs throughout the body. It ensures that amino acids are available where they are needed most whether for muscle repair, enzyme production or other essential functions. The liver can also use amino acids to produce energy or convert them into glucose if carbohydrate intake is low. This process, known as gluconeogenesis, is crucial for maintaining blood sugar levels especially during periods of fasting or intense physical activity. When we consume more protein than our bodies need for immediate use, the excess amino acids are not stored as protein. Instead, they are converted into glucose for energy or stored as fat. This conversion process ensures that the body can utilize the excess protein efficiently, even if it is not needed for immediate bodily functions. Instead, they are converted into glucose for energy or stored as fat. This highlights the importance of consuming the right amount of protein based on individual needs and activity levels. Contrary to popular belief, consuming large amounts of protein will not automatically lead to increased muscle mass. Muscle growth is a complex process that requires not only adequate protein intake, but also consistent strength training and overall balanced nutrition. Understanding protein metabolism can help individuals make informed dietary choices to support their health and fitness goals. Section 4. Creatine Your Muscles Energy Booster Creatine is a naturally occurring compound found primarily in skeletal muscle. It plays a crucial role in energy production during high-intensity exercise. Think of creatine as a readily available reserve of energy that your muscles can tap into when they need a quick burst of power. When we engage in intense physical activity, like sprinting or weightlifting, our muscles rely on a molecule called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, for energy. ATP provides the fuel for muscle contractions, but our bodies can only store limited amounts of it. This is where creatine comes in. Creatine acts like a rechargeable battery for our muscles. It donates a phosphate molecule to adenosine diphosphate or ADP, converting it back into ATP. This process allows our muscles to continue contracting with force and power, even when ATP stores are depleted. By increasing creatine levels in our muscles, we can enhance our ability to perform high-intensity exercise and delay fatigue. Section 5. Supplementing with Creatine. A Practical Guide. Creatine supplementation has become increasingly popular among athletes and fitness enthusiasts looking to enhance their performance and muscle growth. This naturally occurring compound found in small amounts in certain foods and synthesized by our bodies plays a crucial role in the production of energy during high-intensity activities. While our bodies naturally produce creatine, supplementing with it can further increase muscle-creating stores, leading to several benefits. These benefits include improved strength, increased muscle mass, and enhanced recovery after intense workouts. The most common form of creatine supplement is creatine monohydrate, which has been extensively studied and proven to be both safe and effective. Other forms, such as creatine ethyl ester and creatine hydrochloride, are also available, but creatine monohydrate remains the gold standard due to its extensive research backing. A common approach to creatine supplementation is to start with a loading phase, followed by a maintenance phase. This method helps to quickly saturate the muscles with creatine, allowing users to experience the benefits more rapidly. The loading phase typically involves taking 20 grams of creatine per day, divided into four doses of five grams each, for five to seven days. This phase is designed to rapidly increase the creatine content in the muscles, which can lead to noticeable improvements in performance and muscle growth. This helps to rapidly saturate muscle creatine stores. Once the muscles are saturated, the body can maintain these elevated levels with a lower daily intake. After the loading phase, a maintenance phase of 3 to 5 grams of creatine per day is recommended to maintain elevated muscle creatine levels. This phase ensures that the muscles remain saturated with creatine, allowing for continued benefits without the need for high daily doses. Creatine can be taken with water or juice, and it is generally recommended to take it around workouts. Some people prefer to take it before their workout to help with energy production, while others take it afterward to aid in recovery. It's important to note that individual responses to creatine supplementation can vary. Factors such as diet, exercise routine, and genetics can all influence how a person responds to creatine. 
Some individuals may experience significant weight gain due to water retention, while others may not see a noticeable change in body weight. This weight gain is typically due to the increased water content in the muscles, which can also contribute to a fuller, more muscular appearance. It's essential to listen to your body and adjust your creatine intake accordingly. Monitoring your progress and how your body responds can help you determine the optimal dosage for your needs. Consulting with a healthcare professional or a nutritionist can also provide personalized guidance to ensure you are supplementing safely and effectively.